Need a good attorney? This is why you should never hire an attorney, because when you do, you are considered a ward of the state. When you hire an attorney, you are considered a ward of the state. An imbecile, an incompetent the reason you are considered a ward of the state is because your mother signed your record of live birth as the informant, ultimately acting as the trustee of the executor's estate. In doing so, she unknowingly signed away the property of the executor to the state. If married, she's acting as the co-executor of the estate, or in the capacity of a trustee, one with authority to sign over property. Your mother abandoned you at birth. Have you noticed the mother's address is already pre-typed in one of the boxes? Have you noticed there is no address for the father on the COLB? Have you noticed it's the address of the mother's maiden name in that box? And have you noticed they had the mother sign as the informant and not the father? Look here what I found, the state of Oklahoma's very own instructions on completing the birth certificate, signature of parent have parent review the certificate of live birth for accuracy, read the statement contained in this section and sign this section certifying the accuracy of the certificate that we suggest that you ask only the mother to sign the birth certificate. Never have a parent sign a blank or incomplete certificate. Now why would the Department of Health and Vital Statistics teach doctors, nurses, and hospital administrators to coerce the mother into signing the a certificate of live birth, instead of the father, who is the executor of the estate? Though because the executor is the highest office of the estate, and the state does not care to deal with him, they would rather go after the informant trustee instead. Attempting to administrate an estate without written authorized consent of the executor is very costly, people go to prison, but if they can coerce the mother informant trustee to sign over the property, then they have a legal leg to stand on. Note, an estate must come before a trust. The state issued the child a certificate of death, which created a new estate, the legal fiction, corporate you, in which they were the creator of. 1. The woo man is her own estate in which she's the executrix if she has reached legal age. If not, her father is the executor of her estate until that time. 2. The man is his own estate in which he's the executor once he comes of legal age or marries. Until then, his father is the executor of his estate. 3. When they get married, it forms a trust. 4. The woo man's estate now becomes property of the man. 5. The two of them come together and have a child. 6. Women cannot own offspring, only the man, therefore the child is property of the executor's estate until he she reaches legal age. 7. The father is never made aware of this fact. 8. The state coerces the mother into signing the record of live birth as the informant, acting as the trustee. 9. By doing this, she is acting as the trustee of the executor's estate and giving the child to the state ultimately abandoning the child. 10. The state runs an ad in the local paper announcing the birth and abandonment of the child. That was public notice and due process of law 11. The executor never shows up to claim his abandoned property, so the state takes ownership. They fulfilled due process by way of public notice in the newspaper. 12. The doctor sends the record of live birth to the state health department and vital statistics. 13. Now the child is an orphan, a ward of the state, abandoned by its mother, via the birth announcement she signed as the informant. 14. The state sends the record of live birth to the registrar's office, where a new estate is created and now placed in probate. 13. The state takes the record of live birth and hides it away in the vaults, never to be seen again, now to be used a security instrument to back the nation's debt, the future labor of the child, which is now one stock share in the foreign corporation, United States. 13. They split the title and create what's known as the a certificate of live birth, and send that newly created office to the child in the mail. It's his her new identity, and when the child reaches legal age, he can now become the occupant of the executor's office of that newly created estate, but is never made aware of this. Note, the state cannot do business with, or enter into contracts with a living breathing human being. This is why they created the a certificate of live birth aka a certificate of death, which is the office of a newly created corporate you, the fictitious entity and presumption in law you. They had to turn you into a corporation so they could control you by way of contracts using trust estate and probate law. Note, the Sestui K V Act of 1666 made us all dead at birth, cast beyond the sea, lost at sea, dead to the world, and if one day we were ever to return from sea and announce that we are alive, we can take our lawful throne as executors of our own estates. 
14 at now the child grows up and remains an incompetent ward of the state because he she never steps up and assumes their proper roles as the executor executrix of their own estate once they reach legal age. 15 the now adult uses this COLB as their sole source of identity, even though the state advised not to use it as identity. Just as they say not to use the SS card as identity. 16. The now incompetent adult, aka ward of the state, uses the COLB to get a driver's license, social security card, checking account, etc. 17. Now the adult incompetent is masquerading around town, using the certificate of live birth as identity to get into other adhesion contracts, and basically acting as an agent of the foreign corporation known as the United States, and is now obligated to pay an income tax, and excise tax, a property tax, and ultimately be subject to the state. Now you are obligated to abide by their statutes, rules and regulations. Note, there is a catch to this number 17, they are presuming you're an employee of their corporation, but if you are not receiving a paycheck, and there was no employment contract, and they cannot provide proof of pay, then what do they have? Do you work for free? Can they compel you to work for free? That estate is an office, you are the occupant of that office, and as the occupant of that office, shouldn't you be paid for your services? 18. You have lost your inherent rights and have been granted rights and privileges instead. 14th Amendment U.S. Citizen. Daddy never showed up to claim his property, and the state took it upon themselves to adopt the child, take it in as their own. The child is now considered a ward of the state, an incompetent bastard child with no father, and the mother abandoned him her. The certificate of live birth has a state seal and registrar's signature, which is certifiable proof the estate is in or has been in probate. The registrar is the court of probate and probate deals with the states of the dead, hence the legal fiction name on the certificate of live birth. The presumption of law, the other you. To the courts we are dead, legal fictitious entities, wards of the state, bastard children, orphans, and they do not wish to deal with us directly. This is why they want you to speak to them through one of their own. The bar attorney has a superseding oath to the bar aka British Accreditation Registry, their first loyalty is to the court. They are there to lead the sheep to their slaughterer, the undertaker in the black robe. The judge is administering the estate of the incompetent, and his main objective is to make revenue for the state, which is acting as the beneficiary of the estate, and you and I are being put into the trustee position of our own estates. Now you understand why the Lord said, Woe unto ye lawyers. Bar attorney's first allegiance is to the crown, not you. They are there to make you believe someone is fighting for you, but the truth of the matter is, they are there to help the presumed administrator of your estate make as much money as possible for the court, him herself, and the state. Read it again at the top of this post, right out of the Corpus Juris Secundum. You are a ward of the state, an imbecile, a menace to society, and incompetent, and that's the truth, take it as you will. Note, I am not saying all attorneys are scumbags that are intentionally trying to harm you. Some of them know what they are doing, and some of them probably truly believe they are doing the best they can to help their clients. But, it's all about the estate, it's all about the money, and it's all about your slavery and unjustly enriching the state in the end. It is a constructive fraud upon you from birth, and that's my heartfelt opinion, take it as you will. Check out our packet in our email in the description our goal is to assist and support you and your loved ones in any way we can. For more than three decades, we've been collecting valuable resources that can help you overcome any obstacles you may encounter. We're excited to provide you with access to the most up-to-date technology and research that have successfully helped numerous individuals in the past. We're confident that they can do the same for you. Please don't hesitate to contact us if you have any questions or concerns. We highly recommend reviewing our information packet, which contains cutting-edge and proven knowledge. We believe that access to this information is important for everyone, and we encourage you to share it with your friends and family. Please like share and subscribe.